in uh, 1996, there was a great article written by uh, American archaeologist Dr. Bill Deaver, and I just want to just uh, go over these pretty quickly. Um, he's talking here about different archaeological uh, site types. Uh, these are the, the major types of archaeological sites that we find in the ancient Near East. You have fortress-type sites uh, found throughout the ancient Near East, and then you have, of course, major religious centers. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is that did you notice if you just kind of look over these uh, types of archaeological sites, there are no – there is no type site of a mountain that, that doesn't exist. You don't find things on mountains. So all of this to say that whatever we find, if you find anything above 10,000 feet, this doesn't fit any known archaeological site type. Do you, do you see what I'm saying here? Hopefully you understand what I'm getting at here is that this is paradigm shifting. If you find anything above 10,000 feet, this doesn't fit anything that we know of in the archaeological record. And so, uh, so right out of the gate, um, if you find any wood or any historical artifacts above 10,000 feet, now that's not to say you're necessarily found Noah's Ark. It could be, but all I'm saying is that from a, just a general archaeological standpoint, it would be quite remarkable to find anything above 10,000 feet because typically people in the ancient world did not go on top of mountains they were considered sacred and they were considered the the abodes of the gods so you didn't go on top of the mountain and i'm here to tell you that there's incredible amounts of archaeological evidence or not archaeological geological evidence that this area was covered with water this is a brain coral that i found uh you know doing a survey doing the survey it actually this brain coral is so well preserved it went into a museum a local museum so uh, this is actually a photograph. I, I took this picture literally right where I found it, and I put it on top of a rock. So right near this stone uh, is where it was found in situ, in place. Uh, but not only do we find the brain coral, but we also took another excursion uh, around the base of these, uh, of these hills and discovered additional huge sediment deposits of uh, a fossiliferous layers, and uh, it's really hard to get to. And uh, you can see there uh, in the rock uh, are these bivalve fossils. I actually have a piece of it with me here now, and this is all found at the base of Mount Ararat uh, in eastern Turkey. So we do know that it was covered uh, underwater. One of the questions that geologists have uh, in looking at this mountain is that uh, some creation geologists have dismissed it as the possible location because they uh, believe that the flood, post-flood boundary um, is not uh, correct uh, for Mount Ararat. And so they have abandoned it. Some have not, including myself, um, because I think that the flood, post-flood uh, flood, flood, post boundary um, actually fits with this mountain. In fact, there's uh, geological evidence that as high as 14,000 feet, uh, we still find fossils and pillow lava, which indicates that the mountain was formed underwater during the flood and rose up during the flood. And, and so uh, it would have been sticking up over the earth. And this whole region is actually folded, uh, the landscape. You can see there the folding of the, uh, of the rocks around us. Uh, these layers of rocks contain fossils in them, and you can see there the bending and the folding of the rocks. And so this, this entire area, uh, there was a lot of geological processes that would have pushed the rocks up. So all, all I can say is that all I can share with you now is that we are currently researching possible artifacts. That's all I can share with you at the moment. Uh, we are still undergoing testing of some of the artifacts possible artifacts. I can tell you that a uh, wood has been recovered. Um, and I can't share uh, any other additional information about that, but we are currently researching the wood. And I got to say that there, there are things that we are finding on the high elevations uh, on Mount Ararat. 
Um, it's too early to say right now exactly what they are, but I can tell you we have found organic material. We have found wood, and uh, and at, at this point in the process, uh, it's too early to say. I know I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, get your hopes up, but I will say that the research is ongoing. But this is not to, you know, uh, try to burst your bubble or anything, because in archaeology, when you're out of sight, it, sometimes it takes a decade or more to to do the publication. So we're not publishing any of our official. Uh, of our official findings until we gather all the information.